This video shows you how to clean, condition and protect your leather against spills, dirt and stains. To give the leather a good clean, I will be using the Timson's Quality Shoe Brush Set and the Leather Care Kit from Furniture Clinic. You know, selecting the appropriate leather brush is quite crucial, so I use the ones from Timson's because the bristles are quite soft, okay? Do not use brushes with hard bristles as they could damage your leather and, you know, subject them to wear and tear. The Leather Care Kit has got a Leather Ultra Clean and a Leather Protection Cream. The Leather Ultra Clean is a powerful water-based cleaner which is capable of removing deeply ingrained dirt and grime without causing any damage to the leather. Whilst the leather protection cream will add a protective barrier to the leather that will repel stains and hold dirt on the surface, thus making the leather much easier to clean. Suffice to say, it contains the necessary oils to condition the leather and help prevent wear and tear. Both the ultra clean and the protection cream hold a 250ml capacity. And if you want to get more out of your Ultra Clean, you might have to decant it in a foaming bottle. So here I have got the green tea and aloe hand wash. It's a plant-based hand wash. So I will be getting rid of the hand wash in the foaming bottle. And then substituting its content with the leather Ultra Clean. You can get the foaming bottle from your health and beauty retailer or your local homeware shop. Just make sure that when you're selecting the foaming bottle, you select the mechanism which is quite robust and large, as opposed to them smaller ones. Deep clean the foaming bottle after you've salvaged the hand wash. Press down the pump top a couple of times to get all of the hand wash out of there. And so that when you decant your ultra clean into the foaming bottle, there is no contamination with any hand wash residue. Once done, the next step of the process would be to decant the Ultra Clean into the foaming bottle and then subsequently press the pump top a couple of times to make sure that we're getting the required froth of foam spread coverage. At this stage we can proceed to remove the deeply ingrained dirt and grime from our leather seat using the Ultra Clean. So firstly, visual inspect hot spots, you know, where you've got your grime and your dirt concentrated so that you can give them areas a good rub and clean to lift the dirt from the surface. This is not the worst leather seat I've seen, you know, but when you don't give your leather seat a good clean, it looks dull, it looks drab, especially when you don't take care of your seat occasionally. So, we're also going to be replicating the process for the three-seater, the two-seater, the armchair and the poof foot stool. Rather than wetting or dampening the sponge with water and squeezing out the excess, then applying the Ultra Clean. I have decided to use the foaming bottle and, you know, a soft bristle brush to work the Ultra Clean into the leather. You get more out of the 250ml Leather Ultra Clean as opposed to using your sponge and the Ultra Clean, okay? And so here I am using the soft bristle brush in a rhythmic circular motion to lift the dirt from the surface. And also do note that a pretest was carried out behind the two-seater in an inconspicuous or hidden area to find out how the Ultra Clean reacts with the two-seater's leather. Prior to application on the forward-facing part of the two-seater, once the Ultra Clean is wet in all areas of the leather seat, I will leave the Ultra Clean to settle or to seep in into the leather for about two to three minutes so the dirt can be lifted to the surface. And then subsequently, Clean off the worked in Ultra Clean from the leather seat with a microfiber cloth and repeat the Ultra Clean application bespoke to requirements or, or if required. And so, once you've given the two leather seats a first good clean, you know, repeat the process step subsequently for other areas that you feel have still got grime and dirt. 
Also work the auto clean between the backrest and the seat and the arm and the seat as well, them hidden areas, okay? And surely you should start to see the dirt bubble up or lift off to the surface, just as we have got here, okay? After having let the worked in ultra clean foam seep in um, for about three or four minutes, as previously highlighted, wipe away the ultra clean excess with a microfiber cloth. And now that you get the hang of it, we're going to replicate the process for the poof foot stool. Make your application bespoke to requirements until all of the dirt has been eliminated. Then give it a good clean wipe and you can start to see that it's already looking pristine. A huge contrast from what it looked like before. So the next step of the process would be to replicate it for the arm chair. You know with fuel or decanting to the foaming bottle as required. Continue to work the brush with the ultra clean in them stubborn areas until you're confident that all of the dirt has been lifted off and you've given it an appropriate deep clean. And as you can see, the dirt has started lifting up to the surface and so you can, you know, proceed to give it a clean um, wipe. And lastly, we're going to work the same process for the three seater. In this case, I will let the ultra clean, you know, stay put for more than four or five minutes. And if you make your observation and visually inspect, you know, whilst working the brush through the ultra clean, you will notice firsthand that the leather is highly absorbent. And that's because what we have here is the aniline leather. The ultra clean soaks into the aniline leather and darkens and lightens several spots. This should not be a cause for concern as the leather will revert back to its original color within 15 minutes or thereabouts. We've got many types of leather, but the most predominant ones are the aniline and the pigmented leather. The aniline is the highest quality leather. Aniline is the most natural, soft and gracefully supple of all leather types. And generally the most expensive of all leather types. Whilst the appearance of pigmented leather is less locked due to the top coat, suffice to say, the top coat and the smooth opaque surface seal the delight of the pigmented leather. On the flip side, if you're working on a budget, you could go for the pigmented leather as it is budget friendly, water and stain resistant, so it's not porous at all. In terms of the feel, the pigmented leather is hard to touch and unbreathable to wear as the grains and pores are embossed to the upholstery. The next step of the process would be to visually inspect that all of the ultra clean worked into the three seater, the two seater, the armchair and the poof footstool have been wiped off. In preparation for the application of the leather protection cream, to apply the leather protection cream, I will be using an applicator sponge which will be rubbed into the leather in a circular motion. Why is it important to use the leather protection cream? It's important because it provides a protective barrier to the leather that will repel stains and hold the dirt on the surface, making the leather much more easier to clean. It also contains the necessary oils to condition the leather and help prevent wear and tear. If you have ink and dye transfer on your leather, you might need a dedicated specialist stain remover to get the stains out. But if you deploy the use of a leather protection cream which provides a protective barrier to repel stains, you should be able to get rid of ink and dye transfers, coffee, oil and red wine stains, and you know, a myriad of other stains as this is not an exhaustive list provided you deep clean your leather seeds and use the protective cream to provide that extra protective barrier fortification. So what I've basically done here is to apply the leather protection cream using the applicator sponge and rubbed it into the leather in a circular rhythmic motion. Then I've left this to dry for about 10 minutes. Then, you know, I will buff all the leather seeds with a clean microfiber cloth at the end. So I'm basically repeating the cream application for the puff footstool and all the other leather seats, you know, to provide that extra protection or barrier for them seats and stool. 
Without the leather protection cream, your leather will be brittle and will be subject to wear and tear. The cream helps to provide that protective barrier that prevents dirt and stains from seeping deep into the fibre structure of the leather. So if you have coffee stains, tea stains, oil stains or wine stains, they're not ingrained deeply into the leather structure or the fibre leather structure of the leather. Rather, the residue is close to the surface and it's not deep seated. So imagine how this would make your life a lot more easier if you use the cream to prevent the ink and dye transfer from seeping deep into the fibre structure of, of the leather seat. And so once done with the application of the leather protection cream, you know, you buff the leather seats with a clean microfiber cloth. And just a quick recap, the protection cream and the ultra cream cleans leather with deeply embedded depth, prolongs the life of the leather, protects leather against stains and spills, nourishes dried out and faded leather, and is suitable for all types and colors of leather. And that's about it really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Help the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.